processes, uh, specifically in my Challenger, but the process should be pretty similar for a lot of the vehicles out there. Um, so let's just cut to it. All right, guys, so when you get your Braum harnesses, this is the box that comes in. So go, go ahead and open it up. I'll show you guys what's on the inside. It all comes packed together in this bag. And the harness comes put together already. Let's go back to the side. So when you open up your box and you open up the bag, this is how your harness is gonna come. All put together. Just like that. So from here, we're gonna go over to the car and start mocking up the length for your shoulder straps and marking where you're gonna put your um, your hip belts right here. So let's go ahead and go do that. All right, so before I actually start mocking up the uh, harnesses and the lengths that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and take my seat out right here and put the, uh, the side belts on because that's uh, a little easier. And I use the eye bolt and I install it to the bracket on the uh, planted seat technologies bracket on here. And that's where I put the eye bolt for the, in this case it'll be the, the strap on the on your right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat out and we'll put that eyeball in and we'll strap up that harness and then we'll go ahead and start strapping up the uh, harness bar. Okay, we got the seat out and I already installed one of the eye bolts. Um, normally they're gonna go, or at least for this one, my car in my case, um, in a factory mounting location for your seat belts. So in this case, I picked this one back here. The next one I'm gonna install is actually gonna be on the seat. It's actually gonna go where the factory belt buckle is on mine. So I'm gonna take this off and install one of the eye bolts that came with the harness. So I'm gonna get that done. Okay guys, so got that eye bolt in. Um, just a tip, um, it's really hard to get a good grip on this when you're tightening it down. So I used a really long screwdriver to use it as leverage within the eye bolt and then a wrench to really tighten it down and make sure it's nice and tight. And then I went ahead and put on the first strap. And now the uh, seat's ready to go back in, but first we're gonna put on those uh, shoulder strap harnesses. So I'm gonna show you how to tie those up right now. Alrighty, so we're back here at the workbench. I got the uh, right hand strap here. Um, so at the end of the strap, you're gonna have this hook with another eye bolt. So we're not gonna use that since we have a harness bar. So we're just gonna go ahead and undo this. So we can get this piece out. So now we got this piece out, you can store it, put it to the side, throw it away, whatever you want to do. Me personally, I keep everything. So this is a three bar. So as you can see, it's, it has the three bars. And what I'm gonna do to show you guys, cause it's a little cramped in the bar. So I'm just gonna use this piece of bar here to show you how to wrap it up. So generally you want, generally you want this to sit right up on there on the harness bar like that so you're gonna do is take your strap once you've got your length predetermined on how you want to sit on you nice and snug and you're gonna go under and you're gonna go over so it should look just like this so you get some slack under there then you're gonna to wanna to go under your harness bar, like so.
then you want you're gonna want to go under this first one again. And then it should sit just like that on your harness bar. Then you're gonna go under this one again. There you go, it's nice and tight. And you're gonna go under this back one one more time. And it'll be nice and tight. Now this was really hard to get in, so I'm not gonna do it on this piece of bar here because it's gonna be hell to get it out. And then any excess you have, you're gonna roll it up. And I'm gonna use zip ties to tie up the excess so it looks nice and neat on top and it's not just hanging in the wind. So let's go put these in the car. All right, so we've got these shoulder straps here mocked up, but before I completely tie them down and zip tie everything, I'm gonna go, uh, put the driver's seat back in and make sure everything sits uh, right where I want it and tighten everything down. So I'm in the driver's seat now, and um, just kind of test fitting the harness to see how it sits. Um, pretty much got it where I want it. I think maybe just a little bit tighter up on the shoulder straps for me. But, I mean, you're not really going to go anywhere. So the last thing I got to do is uh, finish up tying them up on the harness bar, and then zip tying them. And you already know I'm going to use orange, because that is like the best color in the world. So get yourself some orange zip ties. <laughs> Right, guys that wraps things up for today uh, huge thank you to my friends huge thank you to my family thank you to all you guys that watch these videos uh, huge thank you to Brom Racing thank you for supporting us uh, thank you for you know helping us out with these harnesses and as you can see it's not so difficult to do just take your time um, for your specific vehicle and your setup but for the most part you know a few tools and a little bit of time you guys will get it done uh, if you have any questions as always you can hit me up in my DMs you can comment below uh, you can comment on Instagram and uh, I'll always, you know, more than happy to answer questions. So again, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.